So while the family debates on what to do today in Panama, I am gonna make a video for you, punctuated by the uh, ever-present noise of airplanes whenever I seem to film. But uh, besides that, wondering what you're looking at? Well, this is the by far the tallest specimen of Paroitis ridii I have ever seen. And um, I think it might even be called a Coelurafi ridii. I have to look it up. I should look these things up before I make the video and not after. But anyway, it's, uh, <laughs> I think it's basically the same thing. One name is old, one name is new. But the point is, is that this is the Florida Everglades Swamp Palm. It's called the Everglades Palm. It's a lot like a Mediterranean fan palm in that it has little thorns on its petiole and it gets a frond somewhat similar to the Mediterranean fan palm, which is native to the Mediterranean all, all the way across the world, which uh, attests it to, um, you know, sort of, uh, well, not really parallel evolution because they're very different climates where those two are native to, but they came out remarkably similar to each other. The difference being that the paroitus gets much taller and it makes a thinner, more uniform trunk. It's a really beautiful, thin trunk that's only about four or five inches in diameter. It obviously gets multi-trunks and uh, it has a much more lush appearance to it than the Mediterranean fan palm. And the thorns aren't, aren't as bad, but I'm gonna try to stand back far enough. You can see this guy. He's in the shadows in the shade. So it is hard to really um, see it well, but you'll see it nonetheless. And you can see, <laughs> I have to go back pretty far to give you some scale of how big this plant truly is. Um, and there it is, it's a, you know, like I said, you'll probably never see one that tall where we live or as big and massive. I haven't seen anything close to that in California, even in extremely old gardens uh, in really good growing climates, maybe a third that size. And uh, that's after 50, 60, 70, 80 years. But in our climate, it's a um, beautiful plant to plant next to buildings, especially, uh, you know, so it's so narrow and upright. It can be used as a screen, obviously, in time once it grows up. And it also is a wonderful focal point because of the, the uh, multi-trunk nature of it. So I'm gonna go back inside and see what the consensus is, whether we're surfing, hiking, biking, or sloughing around today. And that, my friends, is the Florida Evergreen uh, Everglades Palm with the only sunlight hitting it at the moment.